Hi, welcome back. Uh, another way you can make hair is uh, with deco mesh. Uh, I, I did do a braided tutorial with uh, fabric mesh. This is just a poly jute and you can do this with any um, mesh you want. I'm using a poly jute natural color and what I'm going to do, what I'm doing is I'm going over the zip ties that are on there already on row six over top of the existing zip ties and I'm also going in between so we have shared holes in between and I'll flip it over so you're going to have one two three four five six seven eight nine zip ties so as you can see it goes right across the back it looks like stitching you're going to cut 10 by 10 pieces of mesh or you can do them 10 by 12, however you want to do them. 10, 20. Just cut it with the scissors. Okay. So you need nine pieces cut 10 by 10. And then what you're going to do is just roll in one side. I use clothespins if if you want to be get it perfect and roll in the other side and then squish it in the middle so it kind of gives you like a tube effect but the seams for the fray are underneath you're going to fold it in half just like this and you're going to put this folded part into the next zip tie and you're going to have to pull it pull it tight Okay, and these are just going to give little, little uh, the look of a little bit of a lock of hair coming out underneath the hat. So roll a couple in. There's different ways you can do this. Just pinch it in the middle. You just want to make sure the seam is down so you don't see any of the fray and then zip it up. Now you have to zip it pretty tight. Starting to look like a little bit of hair. Or you can just roll it in. If you really don't care, just roll it in, scrunch it in the middle, and flip it downwards. As long as the seam is on the other side so you don't see any of the fray when you put it in. Roll it in, scrunch it in the middle. Flip it upwards, and this bent part is where we're putting what we're putting into the zip tie. Now you don't want to put too much of the bent part into the zip tie because you want it to come out so it, you can see the actual hair. Okay, we have three more. It's getting pretty tight in there.
Okay, we have two more. it in there. And we've got one more to squish in right at the end. the hat. I just want the end of the hat to go over top. So it's pushed up against the hair here. I might even have to glue it to, so you, so it's butt up against row six and then zip tied on. So there's two holes on the hat. So put one to one. One to the other. We want the bow on the back. And I'm gonna zip tie it on row three. So I'm using this hole to the outside of the board on row three for this hair. All right, and then I'm gonna do the same on the other side. Outside of this outside hole on row three to the outside of the board. This is a 14 inch hat, but you can see how once I tighten the hat, it's going to, the hat base is going to butt up against the hair, and I'll put a little bit of glue between the hat base and the deco mesh, and then I'm going to tighten these up right now. There we go. Over. You want to make sure your zip tie tail uh, heads are in the holes so they don't scratch anything. Alrighty. And there we go. I'll glue that in place so you don't see any of the board. Oh, I just cut the zip tie. Anyways, there is how you can make hair with 10 inch deco mesh.